Hey guys, this is Coder Jeep. Coding is an adventure every day, and the more we learn, the easier it becomes, the more fun it becomes. And right now, I'm making a new app in Electron. I'm using Electron every day. It's a great technology to create apps that are cross platform. You can create apps that will run on Mac and on Windows PC. That's amazing. And Electron is based on Chromium browser. So you can create interfaces that are very rich, that are look that look just like a website and i really like that because it makes it easier for me to create amazing interfaces now whenever you want to code something whenever you're coding something the first thing you want to do is debug it because if you cannot debug it you can't find mistakes easily now now debugging in electron is a little bit different from debugging in other platforms because in electron you are actually dealing with two separate processes now, this is something that you might need to get your head around. There are two separate processes working in Electron. The first is the main process that has access to all the computer resources. Things like your hard disk files, other resources that deal with the computer uh, that, could, that need to be kept secure, and the renderer process which deals only with the interface of your application. In Electron, when you're going to debug, you need to debug separately for both the processes. And this can be a little irritating and tricky because both the debuggers are attached separately. The main process is based on Node. It's made using Node, Node.js. Again, it's also got a Chromium engine. In fact, it's got the JavaScript engine that's used in Chromium. And Chromium is also used for display, but in separate processes. Anyway, coming back to the point, you need to attach the debugger to two different processes. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. The default documentation at the electron.js.org website will only teach you how to debug the main process. They will give you a configuration file, a VS code launch JSON file, which will give you the debugger for the main process, but you won't have the debugger for the render process. And to find that, actually, there is a free JSON file. You can find it, and you can find a launcher JSON file from Microsoft. And they have a repository on GitHub where they have VS Code recipes. The repository is called VS Code Recipes. I'm going to put a link to this file directly in the description of the video. So please check out the description to get the link to this file. And this has a JSON file, a JSON script that will attach to both the renderer and the main process. So number one step, you wanna copy this text, which is on this script and come back to your, to your instance of VS Code. And in launch.js, I've got my uh, launch.js file already here. And I've actually put this content earlier, but you will probably see it blank. And if you don't see one, you need to create a folder, just create a folder called .vs code. This is the folder that Visual Studio Code will refer to when it needs to get data. And your file will be called launch.json. So it may not be there for you, depending on where you got your scaffolding from. But if it's not there, don't worry about it. Just create that folder and create the file. You will have an empty file, paste the text you got. And now you have your launch.json configured correctly to run two different debuggers. But and now let's figure out how to debug the two processes separately. Let's begin with the main process. Now, if you know the structure of an Electron application, it's actually divided into three separate files. So if you go with the latest version of Electron and you have it configured properly to protect your backend from the front end, you will typically have three different files. The first one for the renderer, there will be a renderer.js. Many people call it renderer.js. The second one, will be the main process. It's often called main.js. And between them, to communicate between these two separate processes, there's gonna be a preload file. So typically you will have three files. Now in my application, I have three files, browser view, this is the renderer, browser.js, this is the main process, and preload browser.js, this is the preload file. Let's see how we can debug the main process. So I'm gonna pick up a point. Let's put a breakpoint over here and in, the debugger, you have to come to the debugger section right over here. This is the debugger section. You can actually select the configuration that you want to work with. Let's go for main. And now we'll hit F5 to run the app. Let's see how we can debug the main process. So I'm gonna pick up a point. Let's put a breakpoint over here. And 
in the debugger, you have to come to the debugger section right over here. This is the debugger section. You can actually select the configuration that you want to work with. Let's go for main. And now we'll hit F5 to run the app. And I can now debug the source code. I've got a nice debugging panel over here. I can step over the code. I can step into or I can step out of functions. And I can see the variable values. Let's say I want to see the uh, value of one of the variables. Let's say I want to see what this particular function will, will give me. I can just copy it. I can put it in the debugger over here. And the value, I can see the value in the terminal. So this is the way to debug the main process. Now let's talk about the render process. And it's not really not difficult. You can, what you need to do is go back to the run and debug window if you haven't got it open. And then click on electron renderer. That will let you select the render process and then click on. And now I'm in the render script. I'm going to put a breakpoint over here. Then go back to my debugger and make sure that the default debugger is selected as the main process. The reason is the render process has to be attached after the main process. And if you have it selected over here, the main process will not run. The VS Code will try to run the render process directly, which is not going to happen. So you need to make sure that you run the main process when you hit start debugging. That's why I select it here for sure. Then start the debugging process. Once your app loads up, so my app has loaded up. Once your app loads up, select from here Electron Renderer and then hit the play button. The render process is running now and now your breakpoints will be hit. Here we go. I've got the form open. And I'm taking the action where we have the debugger. You can see that the breakpoint is hit right inside VS Code. You don't need to have the Chrome developer tools open. Now, this is the system that many of you might be following. And it's kind of a pain toggling from VS Code to Chrome Developer Tools and then going back to VS Code again. And you can do all the debugging right inside of VS Code. As usual, I can actually step through the code. So I'm going to step out and I can inspect variables inside of the terminal. I can see the values. This is how you do it. I hope this video was useful. This is Coder Jeet. And I'm going to make a series of videos that share tips and tricks about programming topics coming from a real life. Now, I'm a coder. I code every day. And I come across new situations every day. And I will be talking about those. And if you want to join me on this journey to be a better programmer, hit subscribe. And let's get started.